Good evening guys, what you all? Same Pro 7 with Max on either side. We'll come to as many of you as you can. We'll set an embargo for 10.30 this evening part way through. Start with Ian please, at the top. Hello Pat. Um, can I just check on the fitness of the, the, the squad to start with? Have you got any hope that Kevin De Bruyne or Kyle Walker, someone like that, might be able to be involved? No, not yet. Both missing still. Just on Kevin, I mean, I know you spoke about it a little bit after the game the other night. I mean, how long do you think it will be? I don't know. You have no idea at all. Uh, how much of a concern is that that you don't know when you're going to have him? Yeah, back? of course. I prefer to have all the squad with the amount of games, but it's what it is. So hopefully he can back soon, but I don't know yet. I would like to tell you, but I don't know. And for him moving forward, is, is this a concern longer term that he's struggling to recover from this I'm injury? I'm saying I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm sorry. Docker and Grealish? No. Southampton then. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> In terms of their, their start to the season, obviously, points wise, it, it's not gone great for them. Um, they're struggling at the wrong end of the table. But Russell Martin has been absolutely steadfast in his belief that he will play the same way. He will stick to his principles. How much do you admire managers doing that, even when the results are not going the way that they should be? We will have success. When that's happened, always you have success sooner or later. You start to change a lot your ideas or your thoughts. Normally when you change your ideas or your thoughts, I'm not saying to adjust something. It's not about being four in the back, five in the back. That is not the point. If you start to change your thoughts for you, the results, the players will notice. They will know you are not a big believer. And when that's happened, sooner or later the results bad is coming. It, uh, they are coming, so. Uh, always they have a, a bad results. Walls and lose will happen. How we struggle to win. So always they have a good momentum. So uh, saw the games against Brentford, against uh, United, the first half an hour against Leicester. His stars hit really, really good. So they have a good, good moments. They have a courage to play. The team I use the keeper like use with Ramsdale right now and use it with all the process. Always it's difficult to. And always after Champions League. I prefer to play against the teams in bed in the table because you are focused and the big mistake we can do is just watching the table and and yeah, but this is where it is. I appreciate you've not had a, a period like Southampton have had at, at the bottom of the table, but when you've had moments in your career where the results have not gone the way that you would want, how difficult is it to be able to show everyone that you're not doubting what you're doing and you, you're sticking firmly to what you believe. It's, it's, it's one of the, our jobs. It's trying to convince the players that uh, we are in the good way and the reason why we don't win is this one or this one and we'll fix it, we'll come back. So it's impossible to convince the players if you try to show or try to tell them or try to training or whatever where you don't believe in something. It's impossible. It's life itself. Thank you. With, with them being bottom of the uh, second bottom of the league, without a win this season, everyone will have Manchester City as favourites. What makes Southampton difficult, Pep? I said, the, the, the plan is there and they want to try to do it. And at the same time, sometimes, uh, you know, the, to adapt to the Premier League in the beginning. But always I have a lot of respect for the teams. Like it was in the Championship, we were promoted. The Champions League is never end. It looks like... <laughs> I don't know how we complain our sometimes championship the Premier League, you know, the, how many games we have. Championship is even worse. So because play there, the FA Cup and Carabao Cup and and I had the feeling that uh, that if they do it it's because they are good. Uh, they rely on the manager, they do it and yeah. I saw the games, Arsenal, Leslie and, and the other ones, and always had the moments. Always they had the moments and they wouldn't try to do it. They have courage, brave. And uh, Especially with the ball, without the ball, I don't know what's going to happen. It depends with us. We will uh, depends on us. We will defend deeper or not. So we'll see. Um, we're speaking to Phil Foden on Wednesday after the game, um, who kind of said that he felt he was back, that he was over this bump in the road that he'd had. Do you get that impression? And perhaps how yeah. far off is he from the Phil we know of last season? I'm not concerned at all about the, how far it is because I know when he is fine, he will get it. It's a natural talent, he will get it. The first goal against against Sparta Prague, the final little bit, feel his incredible talent to solve the game for himself. 
But in a career when you are many, many years, already feel as many, many years, you have, you know, these bumps that you say up and down a little bit. Let's try to reduce these short setbacks as quick as possible. And they are human beings. So be patient, let them feel that this type of place in this type of moments that we are there and everything is going well. And yeah, sooner or later, I'm happy to hear that he feels good because at the end it depends on himself. Um, finally, for me, there's some data released this week that suggests that referees are perhaps less lenient to Manchester City in fouls and awarding bookings than other teams, than, than Arsenal and Spurs, for example. Do you get that impression that you're treated more harshly? I didn't pay attention to these kind of things, I'm sorry. Normally, when you have 60 or 70% of the balls, it's normal that you, you know, you should less reward, but you have the ball. Normally, the fault's being committed when you don't have the ball. And normally, it doesn't happen in our team for not now, for many, many years. So, always have been our teams for many years, always we have been, have been good at saying, but at least I don't pay attention. So, it's what it is, and, and that's all. Pep, what is it about uh, the home form and the importance of that to you? I think if you, if you avoid defeat tomorrow, so you win or draw, it will be more than two years since you last lost a game at the Etihad. Why is that so important to you? I mean, it's an incredible run. Not a question I don't like. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, it was, it's good. It's really good, you know. That means it's considered. Otherwise, you don't win the four Premier Leagues. You don't have this type of results, like in Champions League or all other stages. 26 games unbeaten, so it's because we are consistent. If you are not, we don't win the Premier Leagues for many, many years. That is the reason why. Away and home, especially at home. You know, we are, we do our job every single, every single time. You've spoken a lot in recent weeks about teams coming to play you with a low block and putting 11 men in the box at times. Southampton haven't really done that much this season. Are you expecting them to come and be a little bit more on open? Us. Sometimes it happens when we bring them there. When you make good process, long balls and, and this kind of stuff, and at the end, they don't defend deep. But you with a good process, it happened to us. You when team make a good process, we defend in the box. So how long they stay there, I don't know. I don't know. I know the players. I know, for example, I'm pretty sure against Spurs in the Carabao Cup on Wednesday, it's not going to happen. Against Bournemouth, it's not going to happen. Sporting is I don't know yet. Against Brighton away, I think it's not going to happen. So it depends, you know, the clubs, and you have to adapt. Because sometimes you see a team, oh, these teams, they don't do that. Yeah? But at the end, they, against us, they, they happen. Okay, it's fine. Uh, we have to to break them, break them down. Can I just finish by asking about Savinio? I know you spoke a little bit about him after the game in midweek about how well he's settled in. What is it about his game that you've really been impressed with this season? And what is it that will take him to that, that next level? Getting the goals, for example, that you spoke about in midweek. He's so young, he's 20, 21 years yeah. old. Uh, what I like with Savio is the fact that uh, at the field, like, he want to be the best. He want to be the best player on the pitch. He want to try things. He want to, you know, he participate in everything. His courage, he have the ball and try again. And, you know, when. He's not a scoring goals, but he trying and shoot. And last game against Wolves, it's a free kick. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna take it. I wanna take it. In this, you know, as a young guy, I have the feeling that I'm here to become a good, good player. And that define, that define the really, really good players. And he's in the birch with this consistent and with ambition. Uh, yeah, he will get it. Embargo for Santos this evening. <laughs> 